Hey, Justin Dyson here, Dyson Apiaries. Put out a video a little while back about why our oxalic acid treatments are not working. Well, today I'm gonna to show you an effective way to use oxalic acid, and that'll be the drizzle method. Stick right with us. So when we're using the drizzle method, method it's important to uh, consider a few things. Firstly, we have to we have to do it on a day. Today's about 50 degrees. Um, it's important to do it on a day when when the bees are lightly clustered. We don't want them tightly clustered, and we also don't want them completely disassembled and 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 about the hive. So a day like today is is great. We have a few bees flying, and it, and it's uh, it's about 50 degrees. The bees should be lightly clustered, and we'll check that here in just a minute. So the approved oxalic acid treatment is apobioxal and the recommended dosage is 35 grams of oxalic acid to 600 milliliters of water and 600 grams of sugar. Now it's really important to get that water to sugar mixture very, very right and very accurate. And, and the reason for that is if, if we go into any richer of a mixture, say um, up closer to two to one, the bees will try to consume that, that concoction if you will and and that can be harmful to the bees digestive system and, and things like that so we want to keep that mixture down at the one to one ratio and at that level the bees do not try to consume it because it, it's, it's bitter it's acidic so th they don't really want it and it's still not sweet enough for them to overcome that and go ahead and consume it additionally we always need to ensure that we're not feeding a colony that is that is starving I'll say um, make sure that the colonies have ample supplies of, of, of uh, honey available to them because if we give them one-to-one -one, even though it's acidic and they're starving they're going to consume it anyway and and that will not that will not result in a, in a good outcome so when we do that mixture what we're going to do is we're the maximum dose for the hive is 50 milliliters and we're going to go through that hive and each seam that there is bees in between the two frames we're going to put a maximum dose of five milliliters for each seam of, of bees so we'll go through this hive, we'll just kind of pop the bottom, the top box up, do the bottom box, set the top box back down, do the top box. And I failed to mention the reason for the sugar syrup mixture, it, it makes it stick to their bodies a little bit and, and gives it a little more long lasting effect. So that's why we use the sugar mixture. There's some other um, research going on with using some other mixtures, but none of those are approved yet. This is the approved method. Um, when we do the mixture, we need to ensure that we have it good and mixed up no granules still remaining in the bottom so that we get a good mix um, a good dose on them what I use most of the time you can use a, a garden sprayer if you test and, and learn how the speed to run to get a five milliliter dose per, per seam um, this works pretty good here it's just a uh, just a syringe you know a big syringe and I'll pull up 50 milliliters for each hive and that'll be the maximum dosage. I may or may not use the entire dosage. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in this hive and see what we have. We're right around the winter solstice, um, just shortly after December 21st. Uh, looks to have a decent cluster of bees up here in the top. I hope we have the same in the bottom. Not a bad bunch of bees there in the top. And I'm not going to stir them up too much with smoke because I want them to remain in that slightly clustered state. I hope we have some bees down here in the bottom. And we don't. Yeah. This hive is wholly up in the top. This is not a very good looking colony of bees. So I'm actually going to forego the bottom. Just drizzle the top. We have bees on the edge here, and I'm just going to do five milliliters, five milliliters, five milliliters.
And that half is done. We're gonna do another one. Decent little cluster there on top. Let's see what we have in the bottom. Yeah. Good looking colony of bees here. It's really nice if you have two people doing this job, but I don't. So we'll do five milliliters in each seam of bees. We'll make sure we get it down in the seams and not on top of the frames as much as we can help it. Make sure the queen's not down there in between. We're gonna set that box back together. And we're gonna treat the top. I have this little bit left over, that one. Didn't quite have all the frames covered. It's five milliliters per seam of bees. Well, there you have it that's really all there is to the drizzle method um i honestly think it's quicker than the vaporizer but um each to their own we do have to open the hive we do have to find a day when the bees are lightly clustered as opposed to the vaporizer we could do that in um differing weather situations um key things key things to note ensure that your water to sugar mixture is correct make sure that your mixture of oxalic acid is correct um the, the oxalic acid can be harmful to the bees if we give them too much. Um, we want to make sure we're not feeding a starving colony. And that's really all there is to it. I hope this was helpful to you. Feel free to like, share, subscribe. Um, comment if you have any questions.